What is up, guys? Plasma Snake Thirteen here, and welcome to another episode of RPG. Today, I'm playing Minecraft, um, and I've been fiddling around with some stuff, and I just wanted to uh, run it past you guys because I thought it was kind of cool. And uh, let's just get started. All right, so I've been dungeon a little bit. As you can see, I've got my trusty wooden sword here. I don't have a shield yet. Um, I've got my apple, which is awesome in case my health gets low, and I got a couple of vials of potion. Uh, to revive me if I ever die, you know, Zelda style. So let's uh, let's get started. Let's keep on exploring. And uh, oh well, okay. There's some buttons. Uh, that seems to be a dead end. Uh, do these buttons do anything? Um, no. No. Uh, okay. Um, well, I've got to maybe. Uh, does this do any? Wait a second. What was that noise? Aha! Ooh, a secret! What's in this chest? Oh, it's the master sword and bow! Yeah! <laughs> so yeah, I've been working on uh, this little fun activity with redstone, um, and uh, now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. It's uh, it's called a water lock or a water and lock. Um, I'm just gonna switch texture packs really quickly to make it easier for you guys to see stuff. Um, where's Kevin? Okay. okay. So once this is done building terrain, I'm gonna uh, show you exactly what it means. This might be a little bit complicated for people who don't know, but I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible. And uh, all right. So let me just open these doors here. Oh look, some wolves. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I should taint. No, no. Focus, focus. So, uh, the first thing that happens uh, when it's at rest is you'll notice that these boats are here. And these are the boats of the activators. Now, when they're down, you can see they're bigger than one square. So these, they press, they're not sitting on the wooden plates, but they're pressing on them because they're so wide. So, um, when it's down like this, it's pressing on it and sending signal down to this redstone, which comes around here and gets its signal inverted. Now if you know what an inverter does, basically it just takes this redstone and inverts it. So if it, the input is uh, on, then the output is off. So the output's off there, uh, and the exact same thing's happening on the other side, where the input comes down here, gets inverted and off. Now this fancy little three block thing is basically what's called an AND gate. It's a logic gate, which basically says the only way that this is going to come on, this redstone torch is going to come on, is if both of these are off. So as you can see now, both of these are on, and uh, therefore it's not. But even if one of these turns off, then it's still it's still going to be, you know, it's still going to be off. And if the other one turns off, then that one's still off. But if both of them turn off, then this one turns on. So. To do that, then you need to lift both of these off. So when you lift these boats, it deactivates that redstone, which then activates that redstone, which then deactivates the tor torch. It's a little bit complex, but basically what it does is when you have both those boats lifted off, it'll turn off the, both these torches, and then it'll activate this one. Now when this one's activated, the first thing it goes through is this little note block uh, thing here. This is very simple, it's just using a couple of repeaters to delay the sound, and then it just goes do, 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 and that's the little Zelda secret sound um, that I researched. And so when that goes on, let me just uh, let me just show you what happens when it goes on here. When this goes on, See? Simple. So then, um, the other thing that it does is it also opens those doors up there. Now to get up to those doors, I need I needed to build myself a little stairway up there. Now, if you are experienced in redstone, or at least even in the basics, then you'll know when you have two doors next to each other, uh, one of them's signal is always inverted, which means that you can never have just like pressure pads. Here, let me give you an example. So. These two doors are next to each other, right? If I were to put the switches there just normally, then... Here, why don't I just show you? So, if I were to just put the lever there and there... Well, that one doesn't open. But basically what it does is, 
this would be how it's closed, and normally this would be how it's open. So it's a little bit weird because the signal is inverted for both doors. That's how that's the way it works. So obviously it can't it can't work that way. So you send it through one of those inverters that I talked about before, so that when it's both down, they both open. So this one is regular, and this one gets inverted. A uh, very simple concept. It's a great thing to know if you want to use double doors. Uh, and so anyways, the same thing's happening for those double doors up there. So, to do it, I have to invert one of the signals, this one. So I invert that signal up to here, and that activates it. And this one does not get inverted, and just stays the same up to here. And, uh, yeah. The reason why this uh, repeaters here is because uh, whenever you invert something, there's a very, very small delay. And so I wanted to mimic that delay by using the repeater on the shortest distance here. And that makes the doors open at the exact same time. Finally, the very last thing, I know this has been kind of complicated and kind of long, but the very last... Okay, stupid cows. Um, the very last thing is those pressure pads. So when you step on those pressure pads there, it sends the signal down below to these redstone patches. So when these redstone patches are activated, it's just, again, a very simple, you know, tone. So it's got the uh, chest opening or item found theme from Zelda again, just to give it that kind of uh, cool uh, feel. Um, the reason why the note blocks are different sounding, these are actually the same notes, but they sound different, is because they're on different materials. Uh, you can go research what kind of materials give you what sound. Uh, and that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, uh, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. I really want to do some more stuff with this redstone. You know, I've got an infinite world to deal with, so I kind of want to play around with it a little bit more. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then uh, I'll be sure to make some fun stuff uh, for you guys to watch. And But for now, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.